Hey, welcome to my two. My name's Marge, Milk Empath, and I just like doing these little talks and the way I feel about things. And I was going to go do one outside today, and quite frankly, I got no desire to uh, be out there. I'm a little bummed out. I knew today was going to be tough ener energetically, and it's just so weird. I just freaking love astrology so much. It's like, okay, with for every situation, there's a gamut of outcomes, possibilities of how things can turn out. And, and depending on your psyche, you know, you're going to look at those, and your psychology, your frame of reference, all that stuff. Depending on you, how you look at things, you're going to look at it and freaking, it's going to be have negative or positive connotations. When I look at stuff, I see a whole gamut and all all-encompassing negative and positive and um, so I knew a couple of weeks ago they were gonna start trimming they were gonna trim the trees in the backyard and I was like okay they're only gonna go up 10 feet and I was like okay is that from the base of the tree yeah and then they went clearance wise and they they went up about 12 14 and what what it did is is um, I went out when they knocked on the door this morning. I started another video and I had to stop it because mom said there's someone knocking on the door and I had to go address it. And it was the tree trimmers. And I was like, hey, just, you know, leave as much as you can on my side because I freaking really like my privacy, you know. And and because the trees hung down real low. And and it was, you know, it's like a, a old grandparent putting its arms around, you know, in protection. And, uh, uh, you can tell they, they left as much as they could, but, you know, it goes by the people that are paying, and I think about how much money they spent, a couple grand at least, to freaking leave stuff that was well enough alone, you know. I mean, I, I know about tree, I mean, there was nothing, it was cosmetic. So it's like giving the tree the haircut, you know. This is what happened in Omaha, when I lived in Omaha, I knew it was ready to go, because see, trees have spirits in them, too. And you know what the, the, the they like and don't like, and and they freaking mess with the whole ecosystem because all the squirrels and the birds they they took birds nests away. Their birds nest that was in the one is gone, and they just call it progress. And they mess with shit. They spend so much money messing with stuff, you know. And I did ask if they'd leave some of the branches because I put them up on the on the fence for the dogs for camouflage to block their view from freaking constant foot traffic on this stupid in, in traffic period on this street so when I lived in Omaha they did that I had all these gorgeous huge beautiful trees that's they tell you stuff they've seen a lot of stuff you know their vibrations what they hold you cooperate with the wind and your thoughts you think about stuff and a big gust comes up sh 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 oh I need to pay attention it's all energy cooperation is nature's way so, I freaking remember when I came home, I freaking turned, I screwed, that was not a good deal with the trees in Omaha, so. That just tells me I'm not, that now I'm, I, you know, I've been too comfortable here, and now I gotta get motivated to get going, which brought me to an idea this morning. I got my photography idea, you know, and, uh, snap -nacks. I'm gonna have snap -nacks put on some of these flash drives with snap -nacks. Or straight people like rainbows2 at gmail.com on the email address, and then they could book appointments with me. No, they and all the thing is, two three hour window, I can fill put two three hundred pictures on on these, you know, and then people pay me what they think they're worth. Pick your price photography because uh, you're paying for the experience, you ain't paying for my ego. See, you ain't paying for my overhead, my ego. I don't need much. So I'm cautious about what I spend because I don't want to. I don't get all the stuff I accumulate in this world. I don't take with me. I'm not going to take with me, so I don't need much at all. And I found a customusb.com or something like that website that I can make have t ten of these, four gig of these made. Okay, bud. It's like 126 bucks, and I can design my own. I'm gonna. Ha I'm gonna put my logo on it. This is my logo. Call it my tag. My damn it, I don't know. And I get really excited about stuff, and I just don't know where it comes from and why. Because we all have a constant energy source. So.
so this is the last company I worked for, G4S, so I actually represent, I worked there like about a year and a half before I moved at Omaha. Security, the cost of people, and you know what you do for, you know, the cost of security, you send the people that work there, frickin' to frickin' Europe and constant vacations. <laughs> That's what security pays for. Other people's overhead. So, anyway. Heck, I'd work for frickin', because I don't frickin' want to give Amazon my money, but I would work, I would frickin', I would, that's the thing, is I would barter. Is I would, did I just, I didn't want to throw that. I need that. Oh, here it is. I would frickin', um, hang out with somebody for a couple hours, take pictures, you know, and if they don't, if they don't want to pay me in cash, but have a bunch of old gift certificates or something, they, I'll take those too, you know. I ain't picky. And I ain't proud. So, what else is going on besides freaking trees? And man, that was like a blow. Because I went out there and I'm like, oh, this isn't going to be so bad. And I went and meditated. And because they had moved on to the other trees. And then when I came out and I went out there, I was just like, it's like a freaking smack in the face. And I knew that, that something was like this was going to happen because the astrology said so. It's, I mean, it said that, okay, it, the potential of something negative and positive could happen. And I wonder how, but it's, I mean, it's, it's not a freaking life ending, you know, I mean, it's just makes me, it, things uncomfortable and it just makes things change, you know, and when I don't like where I'm at, it makes me want to go someplace else even quicker. So I just, you know, <laughs> the universe knows I want to go. It's already gone. And there's some storyline that I've already driven up the road on down to, I, down south on the I-5. <laughs> I just. There's a couple people at the other end that are helping, that will be able to help me unload the truck, you know. And I got a couple people here that would be willing to hold up, help me load it, so. I don't need to get too twisted up about stuff, you know. Because when I was a little girl, I, I was taking places and do this and do that and sit here and out for it and then, like, do this stuff, like, you know, and hours and hours on the bus and just all that everybody controlled every aspect about my life and none of the stuff in my life made me happy so then when I got to an age where I could control my own life I overcompensated and then just did myself will ran riot and now I've come back to a place of balance and I just wanted to help teach some other people about how to you know how to to balance that out because I'm one of those my brother used to he's always told me about me you know and then I tell him about him he's like I He's, you know, one of those that don't speak on my life. And I'm like, you just told me about me. Don't speak on my life. Get on fucking. That's what I was like. That's, that's why a while ago I decided I, I, I don't let people define who I am. And that's and when they try to, I'm like, don't put me, don't put words about me in your mouth because you don't see the way things I see and you haven't seen the things I've seen. You know. Because a lot of freaking I. I I've seen a lot of people give a lot of advice about a lot of things, and a lot of, and very few of them have actual life experience. If you want to see the level of somebody's empathy, ask them when they were initiated into the realization that the world, in fact, is a very ugly place. How old were you? What were your circumstances? You know? Because, and everybody gets the initiate, there's that, that point that you're freaking, that you're so freaked out about something that's happened to you, that your body shifts. They did a song about it. Once there was a girl who gone, <laughs> couldn't go to school, you know, about, uh, <laughs> crash test dummies. <laughs> uh. You know, you hear about people who get so scared that their hair turns white. That's energetic shock to the system. Yeah, yeah. You know, or you hear stories about freaking people combusting. You know, you just see the bottoms of their their calves and their feet, and their rest of them are just ash. That's a freaking it. That's a scientific chemical imbalance right there. But anyway, so people who are coming in and they're having their freaking body shifts and it's it's either going to shift you more higher closer to the vibration of love or thrust you down more into the vibration of fear and ego and all that seedy nasty stuff so we're seeing a lot of see of what people are choosing all over the world i'm staying off the interwebs today except for hulu i'm gonna watch me some 
doll face started. That seems pretty interesting to me so far. I'm not through the first episode. But, um, doll face and then, uh, <laughs> regular Thursday night lineup on a Friday because Hulu's always a little late on some shows. I think it's interesting in other shows, too, like Mom. Like, they'll, they're doing season seven right now. On They're showing it, I do believe. But we won't see it until season eight starts next. It's weird how some of them, it's all who's in charge and how they feel and what they will allow. <laughs> oh, this is how I want it. And they, there's so many streaming. I'm like, dudes, are, are people paying for like seven bucks? I Because I figured it out. I pay less than 20 and then cable because I got to have, because the shows that mom likes are on Netflix, you know. So that's twelve, but and then the I, for the internet, it, I'm like, man, for entertainment, you know, but it's for her. But I know that I can get her out to do a lot more stuff here, you know, when we get back, get her back to familiar places she'd like to visit. She's very social. She just got a little sassy dog too, and she just doesn't want to leave her old friend. So, uh, huge change, huge, huge change uncomfortable changes but the kind that have to happen because if they don't you're not gonna go yeah so just know that you're not gonna give anything more than you can handle it just, just sucks when the universe sees the capacity in new, you and gives things that you don't wanna <laughs> so that's all I got for now I hope you have a rad afternoon peace